First, I knock on the patient's door and come in and introduce myself. Hello, Miss Hayden. I'm Noah. I'm going to be your nurse taking care of you today. I'm going to perform hand hygiene, provide some patient privacy, and then verify my patient's identity using two forms, name, date of birth. I'm Sarah Hayden, July 4th, 1983. Okay, thank you, Miss Hayden. So today I'm going to perform a neurovascular assessment on you, okay? So okay. this is just to check your neural function, all right? Mm -hmm. We're going to do a few tests, and then I'll have you on your way, all right? Okay. Okay. So the first test is going to be for sensation and pain, all right? So I've got this uh, little stick here. I'm going to go ahead and break it. And then I've got a dull side and a sharp side, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and contact you on different points in your body, and you're going to tell me whether or not you feel a dull sensation or a sharp sensation, okay? Okay. So for this exam, I'm going to have you go ahead and close your eyes. All right. Keep your hands just like that. We're going to begin. Uh, go. Okay, very good. So it appears that you can feel most of those things. So the next thing I'm going to check is positionals on your fingers and toes, okay? So I'm going to take one finger from each hand and both of your toes, your great toes, and I'm going to move them up or down, and you're going to let me know which direction they're moving, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and close your eyes, place your arms out in front of you, okay? Yeah. Okay, very good. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a um, test to see that you can identify an object that I place in your hand, okay? I'm just going to place a normal everyday object in your hand. With your eyes closed, you're going to tell me what you feel, okay? Go ahead and close your eyes. Coin. Very good. All right, Miss Hayden. So the next test I'm going to do is going to be two-point discrimination, okay? So I'm going to take uh, two sharp objects, I'm going to place them on your skin, and I'm going to bring them closer together. You're going to let me know when you can feel it as one point, okay? Okay. All right, we're going to do both arms, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Alright, so that's about a millimeter there. One. Lots of millimeter there. One. Okay. One. Alright, so about a millimeter on both. Okay, Ms. Hayden, so the next thing I'm going to do is a test call for graphesthesia. So I'm going to draw a, item, a letter or a number in your hands, and you're going to let me know on your palms, okay? Okay. So go ahead and close your eyes, put your palms out for me. You can go ahead and rest them on your legs if you'd like. Okay. Four. All right. Eight. Very good. Okay. The um, next test we're going to do is going to be um, location. So I'm gonna to touch you somewhere with the, with the point of this on your body and you're gonna let me know which part of your body I'm touching, okay? Okay. So go ahead and close your eyes for me. Arm, left arm, uh, right hand. Okay. Right leg. Right side. Very good. Left hand. Okay, very nice. All right, Ms. Hayden, the next thing we're gonna test is a couple of reflexes. So I'm gonna test your bicep. Uh, tendon reflex and your patella tendon reflex, okay? Okay. So go ahead and hold your arms out for me, nice and relaxed. I'm going to locate the bicep tendon here, okay? All right, nice little flex there. Okay, next I'm going to do your patella tendon. So go ahead and relax that leg for me, make sure it swings nice and easy. Locate that. There we go. Got a good little reaction there. All right. The next test I'm going to check is your plantar reflex. So for this, I'm going to brush the bottom of your foot and watch for how your foot reacts, okay? Okay. 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 Ok
So just go ahead and keep them relaxed for me. Very good. Very good. It's supposed to splay out just like that. All right. And last reflex test, I'm going to check for some ankle clonus, okay? So I'm going to rapidly flex the foot back towards you. And then a couple of times, and then I'm going to hold it and make sure that there's no um, bouncing there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and support the back of your leg here. And then rapidly move. All right, no clonus on that one. And no clonus there either. All right, very good. All of your reflexes came back within normal ranges, okay? All right, so next I'm gonna check for a cerebral function and some proprioception. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you close your eyes, put your hands out to your side, and then touch your nose, okay? Kind of like this, right? Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and close your eyes, arms out, touch your nose. A little bit faster. All right, very good. I think that is enough. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna test for is some coordination, okay? So what I'm gonna have you do is rhythmically, I'm gonna have you tap your hands on your thighs and then flip on each tap, okay? So you're gonna continuously do that and we're gonna get progressively faster. Test that hand coordination, okay? And go ahead and begin. A little bit faster. Very nice. All right, next we're gonna check for your coordination in your feet as well. So I'm gonna have you rhythmically move your feet up and down, okay? Or down and up, whichever direction you prefer. And we're gonna go ahead and have that test. So go ahead and begin a little bit faster. All right, everything seems to move in order. Okay, in the last two tests, you're gonna have you perform standing. So I'm gonna have you get out of the chair. We're gonna do a Romberg's and then a gait test, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and move this chair. Just so that it's out of your way a little bit. And then I'm gonna stand here behind you. For this test, I'm gonna have you put your feet together, arms down to your side, and then you're gonna close your eyes. I'm gonna be standing here next to you to make sure that you don't fall, but you might feel a little bit of swaying and that's totally normal, okay? So go ahead and close your eyes and we'll begin. Okay, I think you did pretty well on that one. You can go ahead and stop. All right, for this last test, this is gonna be your gait test. I'm just gonna have you start on that black pad over there. I'm gonna have you use your normal walk and go ahead and walk across the room and then back again, all right? And I'm just gonna observe you as you walk to test your gait, okay? Very good. Can you step forward just one step? Perfect. Okay, now go ahead and walk across the room and then walk back for me. All right, arm swing is normal, stride length is normal. All right, ma'am, well, we're all done. Your gait appears normal. Your assessment came back uh, normal and functional, so I don't think we have any problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and go document and you can uh, be about your business today. Thank you very much. Perform hand hygiene and exit the roof.